This is Nutopia, the most expensive and one of the strongest brain supplements on the market. Some say this is as close as it gets to the real limitless pill. But is this really true? Nutopia supplements were developed to help you achieve peak mental performance in a matter of minutes and I've decided to properly test Nutopia for a month to see if there's any truth in that. What I found out was totally unexpected and quite shocking. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg and I'm a certified brain health professional. On this channel, we help professionals achieve peak brain performance. So if this interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. In this video, I'm going to share everything with you you need to know about Nootopia. What it is, what to expect from it, my experience, is it safe and legal, and finally, can spending 400 bucks on brain supplements permanently boost your brain performance? Honestly guys, you need to stay with me till the end because I'm going to share with you three shocking facts about Tutopia, which blew my mind. Well, not literally, but still. Anyway, before we talk about the actual effects and my experience, what exactly is Nutopia? Nutopia is a brand that is offering nine different brain supplements developed to help you achieve peak mental performance. Unlike most other brain supplements and supplement brands, Nootopia has developed a lifestyle questionnaire based on which they recommend the best nootropics for you. Now, they claim that every supplement that you get is completely personalized, but there is one big issue with that. Before we talk about it, let's check out my experience with Nootopia. Now, I've tried their top supplements like Nectar X, Brain Flow, The Apex, Focus Savagery, and others. Before I started testing their formulas, I read this handbook, which I got with the supplements, which explains the formulas more in details, but also offers a simple plan that is the same for everyone. Now, what they recommend is to try all their individual formulas to see how they impact you, and then you can start combining them. At first, I wanted to skip this first part, and I just wanted to test different combos, but luckily, I changed my mind. If I wouldn't, one combo would probably make me feel even worse than it actually did, and that wouldn't be cool. Now, I'll tell you which one was that, but before that, let's check out what I've discovered during my 30-day test period. First of all, most individual formulas like Nectar X, Brain Flow, and Upbeat didn't really provide any noticeable benefits. Maybe Nectar X had a mild effect on my brain performance, but that's about it. So today, I'm going to try Nectar X. Uh, Nectar X is a potent tropic from Nootopia for performance, clarity, and neurogenesis. And after a couple of hours, I'm going to take two capsules of brain flow. Brain flow is for energy, performance, and confidence. And this is exactly what I need at that moment. Um, so if you combine those two tropics together, apparently you get a very potent stack. Now look at this. That's how capsules of brain flow look like. I hope you can see them here. Um, they look very strange in a way, but I think this is a very potent trophic. So yeah, let me try Nectar first and then Brain Flow and then let's see what happens, how this combo works on me. So let's try it out. Oh, it doesn't taste that bad. So after this first week, I was kind of negatively surprised. The brand uses quite aggressive marketing strategies and they use those big words like the brilliant mind, the ultimate mental states, world domination, etc. Which I guess some people still fall for, but for me, it's quite cheap marketing. However, due to their marketing efforts, your expectations kind of increase. And that's why I was kind of negatively surprised after testing those first formulas. And then I tried Focus Savagery which made me feel quite bad. My head felt like it's going to explode and I felt lots of pressure in my prefrontal cortex. At first I was like, shit, there's tons of caffeine inside and it's probably caffeine causing that. But then I spoke to Nick Urban, the creator of the Mind Body Peak Performance podcast and some other biohackers who have tried Nootopia before and they had a very similar experience. However, Nick believed it is the L-tyrosine causing the head pressure and not the caffeine. Anyway, whatever it was, I decided not to take Focus Savagery ever again. But that was just my personal experience. By the way guys, do you want to know how well does your brain perform? Go for a free assessment, link in the description below and get your brain performance score. After this bad start, I started combining different formulas 
and that's when something unexpected happened. Nectar X and brain flow helped me get in the flow state for several hours and I was really, really feeling productive. Then I tried Apex with brain flow and I have to admit this combo boosted my focus for at least six hours, if not longer, and had so much brain power. Upbeat and brain flow also positively impacted my performance, but also boosted my motivation and improved my well-being. And those effects were very, very noticeable. So while I wasn't happy with the effects of the single formulas, I was shocked by how those combos are actually potent. I won't say it's unlike anything I've tried so far, but those are definitely among the strongest formulas I have ever tried. So I was extremely happy about that and especially because I didn't expect such strong effects. But my satisfaction didn't last very long. After having experienced such strong effects, I really wanted to understand what nootropics are in those texts and at what dosages. And I wasn't really happy about what I found out. Now these formulas are relatively complex. Most contain about 10 plus nootropics combined to help you achieve the desired effects. The great thing about the ingredients is that if you check all of them, as my team and I did, you'll find some fancy and extremely potent compounds like choline, silastrus paniculatus, phosphatidyl serine, L-tyrosine, L-theanine, and many others. Now, most formulas contain stimulants like caffeine in various forms, which I find slightly troubling, but that's surprisingly not the big problem here. The main issue with Nootopia is that we don't know the exact dosage of the ingredients in the formulas. Actually, we don't even know the dosages of the complete proprietary blend, like with Alpha Brain, for example. So basically, we have no idea how well are those ingredients dosed, if they're safe, if they're even legal. There is no information available. Now, when I saw that, I was like, what? Why would they hide this info? I don't know if this is legal in the US uh, to hide, but it's totally illegal in the European Union. So that was quite shocking, honestly. So I've decided to reach out to Mark, also called Mr. Nutz, the founder of the brand, who was extremely friendly and answered most of my concerns. But he didn't share the exact dosages with me. Now here comes the funny part. His explanation was that each formula uh, that you get is completely personalized, meaning the dosages of the ingredients in Nectar X, for example, can be different for me and for you. So it kind of doesn't make sense to talk about the dosages. Or does it? Now this sounds really cool, like, hey, I get this completely personalized nootropic stack. But when you really think about it, I'm not really sure what's going on here. I mean, it is possible to personalize each capsule and powder, but how do you do that based on a simple questionnaire? And is this really effective? I'm not really sure what to think about it. What's your opinion about that, guys? Is it not revealing the exact dosages a big problem for you? Let me know in the comments section below. Now, my honest conclusion about this part is that they don't want to reveal their formulas because they don't want anyone to copy them, which I totally understand. But I don't think that's the best way to gain trust from fellow biohackers and customers. Apart from that, Nootopia has one other big secret that is even more mind-blowing. Before we talk about it, let's check out why I think Nootopia shouldn't worry about revealing their formulas. Now, if you look at their capsules, they're often using this capsule-in-capsule -capsule technology. Basically, nootropics are either in the oil around the capsule or in the capsule that is within the first capsule. This is not their invention, of course, but it is actually an awesome way to ensure the proper absorption of the right nutrients at the right time. And I think it's part of the reason why their formulas are so effective. Now, as it turned out, not many supplement manufacturers and formulators can develop and produce such capsules. And it is quite a unique thing in the nootropic world. So I don't believe many will actually try to copy them. Therefore, even if they expose the dosages of the ingredients, I mean, you won't be able just to copy the formula and bring it to the first supplement manufacturer. So those capsules definitely show that Nootopia have put lots of effort into developing those formulas. But as I mentioned before, there is one final secret with Nootopia, which I don't know what to think about. And that is that they have actually hidden various racetams in almost all of their formulas. Racetams, as you may know, are original synthetic nootropics that are in the gray zone in the US because they're not really allowed to be sold as dietary supplements, but are not approved by the FDA as prescription drugs either. However, they're considered prescription drugs in the European Union and cannot be sold as dietary supplements here. Now, what Nootopia did is quite genius. 
they have created new blends called Omnipept, which are essentially racetams bonded to a few other nootropics. Now, personally, I'm kind of against using racetams daily because of a lack of research on healthy individuals and potential long-term side effects. Even more, you have so many legal and safe compounds on the market, I see no reason why would anyone put those racetams into their formulas. Sure, some racetams are really potent, but others are unsafe and potentially risky. So you're playing with fire here, even though it is unnecessary to do that. Having said this, what is my final verdict about Nootopia? Well, that's a hard one, honestly. On one hand, you have those smartly developed and unique formulas that provide amazing short-term effects if they're properly combined. On the other hand, you're taking racetams and you don't know the dosages of the ingredients. Also, the supplements are extremely expensive. The whole box actually costs $400. So here's what I think. Personally, I would take brain flow from Utopia with Nectar X now and then, maybe like a few times per month, when I'd need the strong energy boost for all day work. I think for such occasions, Nootopia is great and there aren't many stacks that would compete with it. Also, you don't have to pay $400 for the complete stack because they have different options available. One that I like costs just below $100 per month, which is still expensive, but much better than $400 per month. Now, if you want to try Nootopia, there's a link below in the description, so check it out. But if you're searching for an equally strong brain supplement that is safer and way more affordable, I would just go with Qualia Mind. And you can learn more about it in this video up here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.